Welcome back, guys. Nick up here at Maple Motors. And uh, we've got some new cars in for you. So sit back, relax. Here comes another lot walk. Let's get it. Man, it feels amazing out here. This is my kind of weather. Fall at Maple Motors. Welcome back. So guys, if you're new, hit subscribe, share, hit like. This is Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check us out at maplemotors.com. We specialize in classic American muscle cars. And today we're gonna be walking around the car lot, showing you some of the new cars. I think we put on 10 and eight are available as of right now. We listed them at 11 today. We actually pulled a couple off uh, that we've already sold. So if eight total available. When it comes to new inventory, we still got uh, about 15 cars on the lot that were on here prior to the eight we've added. And I'll be pointing all those out. We got detailed pictures of every car on the lot here. We have test drive videos of all the cars. I think I'm behind three right now and I'll get them done today. So tomorrow I should be up um, and working on next week's inventory. So I'm gonna walk around to every car on the lot and point out the new stuff. Let's get started. We'll go a little bit opposite. I don't wanna get anybody in the video here. So we're gonna go down this side and shoot back this way. This one right here is a 1940 Ford sedan. This one's got a Chevrolet V8 motor in it. I think it was a 350 and it's 199. The video is out and about on that one, so go check it out. Next to that 66 Chevelle, I've already got it on hold. 229. I believe that one's already sold. Next to that, we got an 84 El Camino. As far as I know, it's still available. 99.50. Right here's a 74 GTO. This one's 199. Right next to that, a 1977 Cutlass. This one is 12.9 and it is available. All right, so back over here, we got a bunch of sold cars. This one's on hold, this one's on hold. You can see the prices that we had on the windshields before. This one's on hold as well. I will include them in the videos. This one right here, just hit the website, but it does have a hold on it. I don't know if it's sold or not. There's a 1955 Ford Fairlane. Video will be coming out soon. I'm pretty sure this is a soft hold here, so I'll be looking for this car to pop up. This is a 1963 Comet 12.9. And the video is out and running on this one. All right. I think we can hit the front row now. I was being courteous to some of the customers. I didn't want to drag them in the videos if they didn't want to be in it. So let's go over here and check the bug out. My wife loves this car. Somebody said, you need to put her in it. Happy wife, happy life. She's got a Jeep now. She went out, of, she got out of the Tahoe and I may be selling it here soon. So I'll be looking for that to come up. This is a 1979 VW Beetle convertible. 14.9. Got her up here on the corner. Pretty decent look to it. Got 
So I don't believe this Impala is available here. Um, so I'm not really going to tell you about it yet because I don't think, yeah, it's not available. It's not even listed on the website. So we'll be talking about that one next week. It should be around 25 dollars It's got a price on the windshield, but it's not listed, so you won't see it on the website. This one here is a 1971 Buick Riviera. And this thing drives smooth. 455 under the hood. 17.9. Huge car. Right next to that, the 1972 Challenger. This one's 27.9. And I'll be re releasing that video here uh, shortly. So be looking for that on the YouTube channel here. This one here is a 1930 sedan. It's a Ford with an LS motor and AC. 29.9. Appreciate it. This is a 1979 Corvette here. For 13.9 with T tops. You got all our personal stuff in the parking lot next door. Before the end of the video, we'll walk over there and check it out. This one right here is an 85 Mustang convertible. This one's 99.50. I'll be doing a video of it today. I actually haven't made one on this one yet. I've owned a few of these models here. Gotta love a Fox body. What I'd love, love to own is a 69 Camaro, but this one here is a 1967 Camaro. The first year for 29.9. Beautiful car. We got the Mustang convertibles getting ready to hit three of them. The first one's 17 9, and that's a 1973 model. A 66 model convertible in blue for 24 9, and a 66 model convertible in baby blue for 21 9. This one here, we just decided to put on the last moment. That's why the price is not on the windshield, but it will be at maplemotors.com. It's a 68 model C10 pickup truck, custom wheels in black with a step side. And sorry again that the price is not on the windshield. It was a last minute decision to throw this one on this morning. So I haven't made a video of this one either. I think, I know I have three plus the, uh, let's see, plus the race car in there. We'll be getting to here in just a moment. We did pick up a Ford Ranger. Make a TikTok of this one. <laughs> 14 9. I think that is going to be a 79 model. All right, before we uh, go into the showroom, we're gonna be walking around Pops' Hot Wheels room for a second. He's added some new cars to it. So if you haven't came up here lately, come on by, check it out. He's been picking up new Hot Wheels all the time. And I've got some more cars out here to show you and in the showroom, I'll be right back. 
everything on this table is one dollar. Yeah, these are all 20 years old. These are all brand new 2021. Uh, board here. All three dollar cars. A whole board. Super treasure hunts. Cases over here. Super hunts. So you guys, I'm glad Pops was in the Hot Wheels room this time. Yeah. I don't think y'all ever seen him in here. All car culture on this side over here. This board. Board over here. Red Line Club cars. Some of them 15, 20 years old. That's pretty cool. I had to tell them about it when they come up here to go come see Pops, ask to see the uh, Hot Wheels room, and he'll get you taken care of. Thanks again, Pops. Okay, thank you. I'll see you. see you in a little bit. All right. Gotta love the Hot Wheels room, and Pops is in there right now with a customer, um, getting him taken care of. That was pretty cool. I'm going to start dragging him over here and let him introduce all the stuff. Don't forget, we do got a right-hand drive Fox body here. This is a 1993 model for 20 grand. Uh, I think it was like, how many original miles? 28,000 original miles. Pretty cool, especially being a right-hand drive. The rest of the stuff in here, I think I've got two more cars available. This one's already sold, sold, personal, and sold. I'm surprised some of these don't get picked up faster. Got the Terminator motor in it. Over on this side, I'm sure you've seen that pop up on the website. It did not last but five minutes. This is a real RT charger with the 440. It came with the 440 HP. It's got a uh, replacement 440 motor in it now. And right next to that, 68 drag car Chevelle. I mean, this car is fast. I haven't gotten to do a video on it yet. Um, hopefully that'll happen today. And as you can see, it's tubbed, racing seats, roll cage, blower, flames. I mean, she's ready for the track. But this is a pro street car, so you can actually drive it on the street. It's actually got mufflers, believe it or not. All right. Let's head on back out to the car lot, continue this walk around. I hope you're enjoying it. So as we're walking out here, we do got this truck we just picked up and listed to the website. It's a 1966 model C10 for 19.9. All right, walking on out here. I got a few more to show you and then we'll walk around the lot. One more time, just make sure we didn't miss anything. Tell you a little bit about Maple Motors. I think if as today, we've got over 20 cars in stock. I know that seems little, but we're selling uh, 60 a month. So there's tons of cars that run through here all the time. Each week we get new stuff. And this is two new ones right here that we just picked up. This one right here, I'm going to do a video on today. This is the third one that I was telling you about. It's a 1955 Chevrolet. And it's supposed to have a built motor in it. 31.9. It sounds mean going down the road. I've seen them take off with it a few times. And I'm pretty excited about it. I was saving that video. So it'll be out soon. Right next to that. Pretty classy 55 Bel Air. This one's got a beautiful pearl paint job on it. It's got like a, I call it orange. They said it was pearl red. It looks orange to me. But I love it. Would love to have some orange cars. Um, definitely a goal of mine. So I'm going to try to pick me up one one day. But this video is coming out. I've already got it done. Uh, she runs great. She's a four speed. And she's sitting right at 37.9 with the big block. Do believe that was a 454. Made it around the car a lot, guys. So we're going to start back over real quick. We are a family business over 40 years. We have financing available, we have shipping available. The shipping company is a affordable auto transport. 
Just call up Rick. Get a quote at any time. We can ship all around the country. If you want it to go out of the country, I can get it to the border. I can't do anything else. You'll have to figure out the rest. People do it, but I can get it to the border. I have JJ Best, Lightstream, and Collector Car Lending. That's three different companies we provide on there to give you a chance to pick up a classic. You can also go through a bank. And if you have any other questions, look at maplemotors.com. I'm telling you, there's a whole about us section. There's a frequently asked questions section with answers. Um, and every Monday at 11, we update new with new cars. So give me a call instantly at 11, just like the two cars that sold this morning. You'll see them posted here on YouTube. One of them was the uh, 69 Charger. I knew that wasn't going to last. I didn't think it was going to sell that fast, though. That's just how it goes here. I'll leave all the previous inventory just to show you what we have had in stock. And it works out for us because we got a lot of repeat customers when we get the car back in. If it's the same car, I can just use the same video. <laughs> We try to give honest descriptions of every car on the lot. That way, if you're in California trying to buy a car here in Tennessee, there won't be no worries. You can pay for it, have it shipped. And it is exactly as described. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit like, and share this video. That helps me out more than anything. I'll continue to put them out every Monday. That way you have a chance to pick one up. We do have merchandise. You can go to that website, maplemotors.com, click merchandise, or do that right here below the video. It has a link to all the new shirts. I've been trying to come up with some new uh, muscle car themed shirts so if you have any ideas list them below i'll take them in consideration i know i'm doing a roadrunner shirt and that's going to be uh testing the horn you know the joke running joke we got on the channel here it's like half the horns don't work in these cars i think maybe that's like the last thing people worry about when they're driving a classic Guys, I do appreciate you watching. I got to get back to work. Instead of just wandering around showing you these cars, I'm going to go and test drive them and point out the flaws. I've got three to do today. I want to get them done because I know y'all are waiting for them, so we're not going to waste any more time. One thing we'll do before we leave is show you some of the... Well, they didn't bring anything. I got my Camaro. I finally got it out. It's dirty. Some guy was making fun of me, money. <laughs> he was making fun of me about this car. And he said it looks like a giant flip-flop. And I thought it was hilarious. So that's what, that's what I named it. It's called the flip-flop now. <laughs> I love these cars. It's something I've always liked. But it does. kind of does, doesn't it? Father drove that truck in today. He picked it up a couple weeks ago. I love that style. That's something that I had in high school, too. Um, other than that, Pat drove his Camaro in. He's the only cool kid here right now. He always drives a classic in. Got to give him props on that. He'll only drive his truck when it's raining. And this Camaro is pretty nice. It's not for sale, though. He don't want to sell it. If he decides to, it will be on the website. And I'll make a video of it. But Pat does take care of his rides. Everything else, this is Jason's, Jess. The Hummer's pretty nice, though. I do like the Hummer. All right, guys. And Pat has got bicycles. Don't forget about the bicycles. He's got them all priced and in the windows. $250. You cannot come up here and just ride them around. Somebody, there was a few people that did that. One time it was raining and somebody was driving these through puddles. He had to come get his chamois out and chamois these bikes off. I was like, dang, Pat. 
All right, that's enough. I'm going test driving. I actually got to do some work around here. <laughs> that's what you think. Hit subscribe, hit share, hit like. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.